Hello, today I am going to start a new chapter or new module that is tension member. So far we have discussed about different type of connections starting from bolted connections, welded connections and also eccentric connections. Now we will go uh, one by one the member design. Member means either this is a compression member or flexible member or tension member. Now unlike RCC structure, uh, here tension member plays an important role. Like in case of RCC structure, because of the dead load or self weight, uh, generally uh, structure undergoes compressions and uh, very rarely tension comes into picture. That is why we use such type of members means we design as a uh, means RCC design. But in case of structures where tension occurs frequently in such cases we have to use the steel member so that the steel can take uh, tension. So, in case of industrial building or uh, bridges uh, particularly truss members, uh, members are subjected to tension because of uh, different type of loads including vehicle load in case of bridges and uh, uh, wind load, earthquake load for uh, industrial structure etcetera. Uh, we found that uh, many members become uh, means uh, undergoes under axial tension. So, we means we have when we will be learning the design means uh, design of steel structure we have to learn how to design a tension member. In case of RCC member many of us have not learned that uh, design of tension member in RCC, but in case of steel uh, we need to know uh, as we know that uh, wind uh, when a industrial structure is built when wind comes into picture or earthquake comes into picture some columns goes uh, compression and other columns under tension and uh, again because of reverse direction again the uh, columns uh, which were compression become tension and which were in tension earlier may become compression. So, uh, we have to design uh, the members for both tension and compression in case of industrial building or structures. So, those things we will see uh, one by one uh, and you know the tension members means may be of any um, type of cross sections, uh, it may be angle section, it may be a circular section, it may be eye sections, any type of sections can be used. However, uh, generally we use means because of its advantageous geometrical properties we use circular section as a tension member or sometimes we use uh, angle sections also right. So, if we see that uh, truss member cables in suspension bridges, uh, bracings uh, for buildings these are uh, often uh, subjected to axial tension forces which needs to be designed properly and as I told that any cross sectional configuration may be used where circular rods and rolled angle sections are commonly used. These are some application of tension member where in case of cable state bridge uh, uh, we need to design tension uh, the stay cables and uh, similarly in case of truss members few members become tension. Uh, in case of bracings we need to design the bracings which comes into uh, tensile action. So, in case of purlin in case of hammer, uh, hanger supporting rock float deck etcetera we have to design for tension. Now, coming to um, tension member uh, we will see that different type of um, section can be used one is uh, circular sections that is uh, we can use circular section we can use rectangular or square section we can use angle section uh, if we see this angle section and of course, angle section back to back angle section uh, in, a, in a different way also we can make like uh, we can make angle sections in this way also. Say this is one angle and this is another angle uh, which is connecting with a gusset plate this this also sometimes we use then oh, this is written here also if we see these two angle sections are connected with the gusset plate with bolt connection or four angle sections also connected 
these are the way we can make some angle sections. Then other various uh, type of configurations as like this, these two channel sections back to back that generally we use for uh, collapse section means for compression member, but sometimes we may need uh, for design of tension member also. Again channel section face to face uh, uh, it may be connected, again ang angle section making a box this way also one can connect and angle section um, uh, uh, with the use of gusset plate and other uh, additional plates we can make angle sections also means uh, use angle sections for making a built up section which will be useful for uh, tension member design. Now, we will discuss about uh, various factor affecting the strength. We will discuss about factors affecting strength, strength means the tensile strength. So, here one is the hole means bolt hole, hole due to bolt. So, if you we have a plate and if we make a connection with a hole, then the net area of the section is going to be reduced. That is why uh, when we will be calculating the net uh, area or the for calculation of the tensile strength, we have to reduce the bolt hole area because this bolt hole cannot take tension. That is why the strength will be decreased in case of presence of hole. Then another factor is geometry factor, geometry factor of the member. Geometry factor is that uh, a lower ratio of gauge length to its diameter, uh, gauge length means G and uh, diameter D results in containment of contraction at the net section and hence is more efficient. That means, when uh, G by D ratio will be low then uh, it will be more efficient. So, this also we have to keep in mind. Then another is ductility factor. If the members become ductile, ductility factor, if the members become ductile then uh, it increases its strength uh, because uh, even distribution of stress because of the ductility of the member dis uh, distribution of stress becomes even and because of that uh, we can get more uh, means more strength if the member is ductile. Then residual strength, if we have residual stress in the member, in case of residual stress have a more pronounced effect uh, where fatigue is involved. In case of fatigue, uh, we have to uh, count the residual stresses also uh, how much it is present. So, accordingly it has to be taken care. Then spacing of fastener spacing of fasteners. This is also uh, if the uh, spacings are closer then uh, relative to the diameter then block shear uh, will lead into failure. That means, when a member is connected then uh, compared to its diameter if spacing is less then chances of block shear failure will be there. So, that has to be also taken care. Next is the shear lag effect, this is very important in case of tension member design shear lag effect. In fact, uh, sometimes member uh, total members are not connected to the um, gusset plate or to the system. So, when the members are subjected to tension, so all the portions of the element or the member are not directly connected as a whole, as a result are not directly um, are not directly uh, under tension. So, therefore, uh, tension force are not distributed uh, uh, throughout its cross section properly. So, there is a scope of uh, shear lag effect. So, that because of shear lag effect the strength of the um, member gets reduced. 
so when it has it occurs say suppose in case of a member say um, a angle is connected to a uh, gusset plate now when the tension force is uh, applied so uh, this portion will be uh, under tension directly as it is directly connected but this portion is under tension but uh, at a time it will not occur there will be some lag lagging so because of that lagging the shear lag effect will come into picture and because of shear lag effect the strength of the member will be reduced Now, coming to net area calculation because uh, in case of tensile member axial tensile force the net area plays an important role because uh, when we will find out the yielding of the section or rupture of the section means uh, uh, the member when is it is under uh, tension rupture may come into picture uh, uh, along its critical section. So, for that we have to find out the net area net area means basically the total area minus the whole area uh, because of the presence of uh, bolt the members are made whole so that whole cannot take tension so when we are going to calculate the net area we have to reduce that area not only that uh, it uh, means we have to calculate that in which section it is going to fail there are several options will come into picture through which uh, there will be a chance of uh, failure, failure means rupture failure it may. So, uh, we have to calculate the different options and then we have to find out that which one is the most critical and according to that critical section we have to find out the what is the strength due to rupture. So, this is how we will make it. So, basically net area means gross area minus whole area. So, this is the uh, formula which we can use however, uh, case to case it will little change. So, this is true when uh, the plates are in chain bolting say we know the when two plates are in uh, connections and under tension say P and say bolting connections are made with a chain bolting. So, there will be chance of failure around this direction because in this direction say 1 1 right or along this direction. So, in this direction in along this path uh, the net section area will be less. If I consider here the net section area will be B into T. If this is B, the width of the plate is B and thickness is T, then gross area will be B into T, right. But the area along these sections will be less, that will be gross area minus whole area. Whole area means if uh, diameter of the hole is dh and if t is the thickness then dh into t into if n number of holes are there then this b t minus dh into t into n that means gross area minus whole area. So, I can find out a net that net area is equal to uh, b minus n into dh into this is how I can calculate the number of means uh, net area, where T is the thickness of the plate, D H is the gross diameter of the uh, hole and B is the width of the plate and N is the number of bolts in one line, in one line number of bolts. In this case uh, it will be 3. So, this is how we can calculate the net area in case of chain bolting, but in case of stagger bolt. Uh, we have different formula in case of stagger or zigzag bolt we also call zigzag bolt there the 
mem means bolts are not in a particular line it is distributed in a zigzag manner. So, we need to know how to calculate the net area and net area calculation means we have to see the how it is going to fail. So, here we can see that suppose the bolt connections if it is like this then it may fail in this way in this way say I can give a name that 1, 2, 3, 4. So, failure may occur failure may occur along 1, 2, 3, 4 again failure may occur in this direction also if this is 5 this is 6 means 1, 2, 5, 6. So, in this direction also it may fail 1, 2, 5, 6. Also it may fail 1, 2, 5, 3, 4 that means it may crack like this, like this then, then this, then this. So, three alternatives are there through which the failure may occur. So, what we need to know? We need to find out what is the net area along this three alternative route and finding out the net area the least one will be the most critical one. So, the failure will happen first on that line. So, that that is why we have to calculate and in case of staggered join that deduction will be that deduction will be say if I consider that 1, 2, 3, 4 then deduction will be here 2 hole, 2 hole area. But if I have 1, 2, 5, 6 for this case I can see that deduction is 2, but there is a chance of gaining strength in this. So, that has to be taken care that will be considered the sectional uh, area holes will be considered as P S i square into T by 4 G. So, this portion we have to take P S square i by T G. So, that means, here P S i is this one that in case of staggered pitch that P S i is the pitch distance P S i i for means 1, 2, 3, 4 like this number of um, staggered pitch and g will be this distance this is g that means this is g. So, number of staggered means uh, diagonal path is 1. So, this will be n into means 1 into this this will be added. So, in this case we can find out the net area as like this a n will be b minus n into d h means in which path it is going according to that how many bolts are coming into picture we have to see and accordingly n will be decided and then summation of p s i square by 4 g i i is number of stagger line or that inclined line through which uh, it is passing. So, here into T. So, here B is the width of the uh, plate and T is the thickness of the plate and D H is the uh, hole diameter that means bolt diameter plus uh, 2 or 2 millimeter in case of uh, directly punched hole and G is the gauge length between the bolt holes uh, and P S is the staggered pitch length. Staggered pitch length I have shown. Uh, between line of bolt holes as shown in the figure earlier that means in this figure staggered pitch this will be the staggered pitch and n is equal number of bolts uh, lying in the critical section and i is the means number of inclined legs that means in case of this in case of this this will be one if i consider 1 2 5 6 1 2 5 6 then n is 1 and in case of 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, 3, 4, n is 2. So, this is how we will 
considered. Now, if the gauge distance and staggered pitch distance are different, then how to calculate? There is another case I consider where pitch distance and gauge distance are different. So, for example, this case where two plates are connected with a lap joint, P is the tensile force acting and there is a bolt here, this is another bolt, this is another bolt. That means, it may fail along this 1, 2, 3. So, failure may happen if I see failure will be will happen along 1, 2, 3. This is one case. Then another case will be 1, 2, 4, 4 means this one 4 and this if I consider this is 5 and this is 6 and this is 7. So, 1, 2, 4 then 5, 6 that means this way 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 in this way. Another scope is that 1, 2, 4, then 7, 1, 2, 4, 7, 1, 2, 4, 7 and another also 1, 2, 5, 6 that means it may fail in this way also uh, I am showing. So, there are 4 options say 1, 2, 5, then 6. So, 4 options we have and we have to find out the net area along this 4 line and then I have to find out the minimum one and minimum one will be the uh, net area for which it may fail. So, I will calculate 1 by 1 and then I will try to find out the net area. So, uh, how do I calculate the net area in this case say a net. So, in this case it will be say b minus n d plus p s 1 square by 4 g 1 plus p s 2 square by 4 g 2 into t right. So, this case is actually this is 1 2 4 5 6 in this case. This case will be the new one. So, what we are seeing here? Here we are seeing that b minus n d here n will be 3 and p s 1 is this one p s 1 this I can say p s 1 and this is p s 2 because after this 1 2 4 then from 4 to 5 it is coming. So, it is p s 2 right. So, p s 1 by 4 g 1 this is g 1 and if I consider sorry this is g 1 g 1 and this is g 2. So, if I consider that 4 g 1 and then p s 2 square by 4 g 2. So, this is how I can calculate, but if I consider that it is failing along 1 2 5 6 that means 1 2 5 6 then in this case it will be b minus n d n means 1 into d plus then in this case I should consider say this is p s 3 say p s 3 square by then this will be g 1 plus g 2 that means 4 g 1 plus g 2 into t for this particular case a n will be this. So, case to case we have to consider what is the a n value and accordingly we have to find out the most critical one right. So, now I will show the same thing in this picture so that uh, one can understand. So, just to give the summary of the 
things whatever I have discussed, we can say that the net area A net we can calculate as B minus N D H into T, where T is the thickness of the plate, D H is the gross diameter of the plate, B is the width of the plate and N is the number of bolt in one line. So, this is what number of bolt in one line means, means in this line how many bolts. So, in this case um, uh, it will be 3. So, for chain bolting I can easily find out the net area as the gross area which is B into T minus N means whole area N into D H into T. So, this is how I can calculate, but the problem start when we have to calculate the net area for zigzag bolting. So, in case of zigzag bolting we have discussed two things one is uh, one is that if the PSI this is PSI or S whatever you can say if this is same that means if again this is here. So, it will go like this again if this is here it will go like this that means here S is same and if the distance is equal also then I can write that sum of sectional area holes that will be that is PSI square by T in into T by 4 G I and failure as I told that failure will occur along 1 2 3 4. So, 1 2 3 4 in this direction failure may occur 1 2 5 6 again failure may occur 1 2 5 3 4. So, if I consider failure along 1 2 5 3 4 then n will be 2 because number of inclined line are 2. So, n will be 2. So, in this way we can calculate and the formula we know that a n will be equal to b minus n d h plus p s i square by 4 g i into t. So, the parameter name I have told the variables like n is equal to number of bolt holes in the critical section means which sections I am passing according to that I can find out number of bolt holes and p s is the staggered pitch length between line of bolt holes as shown in the figure and g is the gauge length between the bolt holes and uh, as shown in the figure uh, earlier we have shown the figure and d h is the diameter of bolt hole and b and t is the width and thickness of the plate respectively. Therefore, the net area can be calculated. Now, if the staggered pitch is different for different cases say for example, this case. So, in this case this is P S 2 or S 2 and this is P S 1 or S 1 we can um, mark this and if, if we see here S 1 and S 2 are different that means, this bolt are not in this direction means in this line in 1 to 3 line it is not situated. So, in this case we have to calculate net area considering individual stagger distance. So, if I consider the net area along 1, 2, 5, uh, 4, 5, 6. So, there is two inclined line. So, one is this one for this I have to make this P S 2 square by 4 G 2 and for this I have to add P S 1 square by 4 G 1 and net area I can find out in this way. So, this will be B minus N D plus P S 1 square by 4 G 1 plus P S 2 square by 4 G 2 into T right and failure may occur in different way and so for calculation of net area I have to find out the critical path or line of calculation of net area for 1 2 3 1 2 4 5 6 1 2 5 6 and 1 2 4 7. So, I will calculate the net area for these 4 cases and the minimum one will be the 
critical one through which the failure will occur right. So, by seeing we cannot tell that in which line it is going to fail. So, I have to calculate and then I have to find out which one will be the most critical one. So, with this I would like to conclude today's lecture um, as time is not permitting. So, next day I will uh, go through one example and we will show how um, the net area is going to be calculated. Thank you.